Right everybody, how you doing? I'm Paul, and along with my fishing compadre Glenn, we are Fishing All Seasons. Just got back from a 40 hour session at Norton Disney, where we fished on the Stocks Lake. It was a session of lows and highs, and while I was there, Danny Fabres was actually doing a session. Um, I had the privilege to have a chat with Danny, which was great. So, without further ado, I'm going to put some... Uh, pictures up first of the uh, not on Disney complex and that will go straight into the video so enjoy guys Everybody, how we doing? Back on the bank again, me and Glenn. Uh, finally made it to Northern Disney. Unfortunately for us, uh, we had to leave uh, about five half past five on Tuesday night. When we got here, it was absolutely chucking it down. The wind was horrendous. So in the end, we finally got our bivvies up, drenched to the bone. Glenn got his, uh, got his rods out before dark. I left it till this morning because honestly the conditions was horrendous. He actually thought at one stage that uh, the bib, my uh, bivy was going to take off and I'd be uh, sleeping under the stars in the rain. But anyway, bivy survived. We both survived the night. So Glenn's just doing a bit of spotting behind me now. He's got his rods out, he's got bags on. I've got three bags on as well. So we managed to um, get a double swim on Stocks Lake. We're in the ball area, so it's quite deep water, but we're fishing in about nine or 10 foot of water. Um, there's quite a few pegs. Well, there isn't any pegs at all available, actually. Billy's Lake is half closed because of the, uh, the, the high water levels. The guys that turned up this morning well, I think they'll be struggling to find the peg, to be honest with you. But anyway, the sun's out, but unfortunately, again, for us, we're here and it's going to be 40 miles an hour winds this afternoon, so it ain't great. But anyway, I'll just show you where I've got my rods. Literally, just next, next peg to Glen, five or six yards away. Trying to get a good angle there. Bloody swans have been annoying all morning to be honest with you. Diving down for me a bit, but there's two of my rods anyway. Oh, only about 10 yards out. Obviously not on Disney. Carp only water, so there's still time. We've got all day today, all day tomorrow, so hopefully we'll have a few. As usual guys will keep you updated as the day goes on. And hopefully the wind won't be as bad. Uh, fish wise, I think there's a couple of guys had a couple yesterday. There's not a lot been out to be honest with you. But like you say, if you're not in it, you can't win it, can you? So we'll keep fingers crossed. We'll get an update shortly. So for now, we'll see you later. Well guys, it's not all about the fishing. Couple of swans here, Mr. and Mrs. Just keep going by my rods, making my alarms go off, but it's nice to see them. I'll tell you what, the male ones are like a bright bloody stars. They keep trying to get me bit out of my bucket, but uh, without success. Just give you a quick, quick scan of the actual ball that we're in. It's quite a big ball area. Like I say, the wind's quite choppy again, but... I'll just have a quick scan round for you. There's a 
fella on the far bank with his young son. There's another guy opposite. He's been beaten up in that far corner. And then all the way down that bank. There's no more pegs past where Glen is there. That's Glen's peg there. But yeah, the wind's not here letting up. That's you anyway. As long as it stops tonight, I might get a decent night's kip. Unless the uh, carp keeper's away, which will make a change. swans just pruning themselves after to be for a swim nice to see well the fish runs pretty quiet so far that is still early morning it's not even 10 o'clock yet so still we've got loads of time Keep changing baits, changing bags, plenty of bait going in using the spod rods. So yeah, we'll keep giving it a bash. Glenn's gonna get the browser note fully. Just emptied one out, must have gone cold. The good thing about these pegs are not dizzy though guys, they, they really are big pegs. Plenty of rooms for your bivvies, plenty of room. Plenty of room for your rods as well. They really are big spacious pegs. Here's my setup. Sun's out at the minute, which is nice. Drying the bivy from last night. There's my trackies drying on the tree. They got absolutely drenched last night, so did I. But yeah, it's a lovely setup here, it's nice. So that's what the uh, cat steps to play along. Right. For now. We'll see you later. Right everybody, how are you doing? Well, it's no wonder they call this channel fishing all seasons. I should call it fishing all weathers. Honestly, it's all me and Glenn's done all days. In and out the bivvy, in and out the bivvy. One minute it's raining, the next minute it's sunny. Then it's bloody windy as hell. At the minute, I don't know if you can hear me very well, because the rain's absolutely pounding down on my bivvy somewhat rotten. Um, unfortunately, it's spoiling it for us, because the wind, it, the wind is just absolutely ridiculous. It hasn't really let up since, since we got here last night. Uh, anyway, you know, the rods are still in. I'm just waiting for the rain and the... Uh, wind to die down a bit so we can all uh, rebuild our rods again ready for the night the good news is we're going to order a takeaway so hopefully I'm going to get a couple of curries so that'll warm us up anyway um, over on uh, Pettitsley which is just, just around the corner from where we're fishing um, Glenn went for a walk earlier to the, uh, to the fog van and Danny Fairbrass was on there he's in the water with his waders on just fill him in a 30 pound plus that he just caught. So yeah, good to see Danny at the fishery and looking well. Uh, as regarding stocks, let's go where we are. I think there's one guy that's had one more carp early, early in the day, what uh, the bailiff has told us. Apart from that, there's been nothing out at all. Like I say, the winds, the wind of the range is spoiling it for us. It's a shame really. So hopefully the wind will die down tonight and I might get a bit of a kick. Unless, of course, the cap keep me awake, which I'll be happy with. Right, uh, it's only about four o'clock now. But it's, but you know, as, as you can see, it's pitch dark in the bivvy. I've got a little head torch light on to give me a bit of light. But yeah, uh, bit was I've got um, popped up, pineapple, on two of my 
uh, PVA bags and a pot tub. Excuse me, sweet corn, straw, tiger nut pop up on the other bag. Hey, I've had nothing, I'll say nothing all day yet, guys. Not even a bleep, not even a touch. You know what it's like fishing. If the, if the, if the weather ain't great, the fish ain't having it, are they? So, as you can hear, it's absolutely chucking it down outside. I'll give you an update later. In the meantime, I'm trying to keep dry. Speak to you soon. Right, so the result. Uh, Glenn's got a nice little common here. Well, big common, actually. Going to wait in a minute, but it looks could possibly his PB there. Yes, so, sir. I'm going to put it back down a minute, Glenn. We'll weigh it. Just pop it in, mate. And get the scales on her. See where, how she goes. That's a weird one, that won't be about one and a half. Let's have a look at this. It is 10.1 10 point, 10 point kilos. Which is a 22 pounds. So we'll just take the net off, so it's looking at what? 20 pound, 5 ounce? PB for Glenn. Let's have one more look at it, Glenn, while you're there, mate. Smell for the cameras. It's in there, my beauty. There you go, look. Lovely looking fish. PB for Glenn. First fish of the trip. It came on a zig. It just changed on to a zig in the bottom corner. So, yeah, happy days. So, we'll get her back in. Brilliant. <laughs> Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> right. Hopefully, there'll be some more to come later, guys, in a bit. Right, good morning, guys. How are we doing? It is Wednesday morning, and yes, I did tricky yesterday. Glenn, it's Thursday morning. Nice one. So, yesterday, I tricked you all. It wasn't a mirror, Glenn got. It was a common. It wasn't a common, it was a mirror. <laughs> Now it was a 21 pound five mirror, so PB for Glenn. Glenn, how did last night go, mate? Oh, uh, couple of bleeps on my middle rod. Went out running in my socks, not, nothing there. Silly boy, you got wet feet. Yeah, but it is what it is. That was it all night. Yeah. Not, not winded us, so we'll go to sleep, which was good. Yes, uh, I woke up two or three times again with, with the rain, absolutely chucking it down. I said to Glenn this morning, then buddy, Rain showers was bad. What they went? What 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 rain showers? So yeah. <laughs> so it must have been nice to get a decent decent kip. Um, two guys on the far bank again. We don't think they're bad out. The winds finally changing direction. Rather than being right into our faces, it's now going from uh, from right to left. So it might bring the carp out of that area. We don't know, but we don't want it to, because that's where Glenn got the uh, the mirror on his zig yesterday. So today was Glenn, which is Thursday morning. What's your plans of attack? Well, I've just recast out again on my right rod, staying on the zit, going to stick with that for the day. I'm going to have a play around on my left and middle rods, get the distance sticks out, good. I'm going to go into the deeper water, get some, and do some bit of spotting. Nice one. Over the top of them too. Good stuff. 
See yeah. how that goes. See how it goes. Hopefully, you might get another carp or two. If you're not here, you can't catch, can we, lads? Um, regarding me, um, I've put a zig on. I've had it on all night. I've just recast it. There's been a couple of showing fish in the middle this morning, so forget the reds down happy days. And I think the guy on the far bank's packing up, so I might put a, uh, a couple of more bags on and give it a good chuck against the far, the far margin now, because that's where the wind's blowing down. So any cap that I uh, held up in there, got a chance of a run there, aren't we? Um, you see many cars coming this morning? Yeah, yeah, it was busy. Yeah, shop, I mean, was, shop was busy. Yeah, it's like out. I mean, like me and Glenn, we can only come when we can come. Because, you know, we'll have family commitments and, and work commitments. So we can't pick and choose the weather, can we, guys? You know, it's just, it, it is what it is. So I don't know. We'll have to see how the day pans out. But supposed to, again, the wind's died down a lot. Maybe getting a few more rain today. But if we do, it's back in the bivy and uh, keeping dry, really. What time are we looking at going home, Glenn? Do we know? Late afternoon ish, yeah, maybe tea time ish. Yeah. We'll, we'll check the weather and yeah. start getting packed up while it's dry. Because while, while, it's due rain again at tea time, I think. So. Yeah, so we'll, we'll have to see how that goes. Year on that one. Yeah, that's it, because we've got bloody on the um, Tuesday night. We've got absolutely drenched packing up, so it'd be nice to go home dry. Yeah, yeah. especially your bivvies, guys. You know what it's like chucking everything in your car, everything's wet through there, you got to go home. Wait for a dry day, get it out, get it dry. But yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, I think at the minute it's looking like a bite. Hopefully, it's a, it's a carp and not a bacon sandwich. <laughs> Which reminds me, uh, fry up in a bit. When I get my uh, egg on the go again, bacon, nice sandwich to start the day with, and then we'll start our plans again. Plans of attack for the day, and hopefully, we might have another fish to show you. But, as we've seen, Glenn was talking to a couple of lads last night. They've been on Hodgetts, I believe, since Sunday. Yeah. How many fish has he had out, Glenn? Nil. None. So he's been here, what? Four days, he's had nothing. It's just, it's just the way it is, guys, isn't it? Some days you'll come, you'll catch one or two. Some days you'll come, you'll catch maybe, if you're lucky, seven or eight over a four or five day session. But he's had nothing at all. So it just shows you the full complex is struggling. So, unfortunately... It is what it is. Hopefully they'll come on today if they do. It's been a jolly as usual. No blank. Exactly. No blank. No blank. I netted it. <laughs> hey, happy days. It's, we're a team. <laughs> anyway, we're going to sign off for now. We're going to get the rods rebooted. Zig for Glenn. Bit of Marcus, Marcus, uh, Marcus sticking for Glenn. Put some bait around it. I'm going to have a little chuck, chuck around the farm margin as well. We'll see how we get on. How else to add Glenn for now? Gonna have a brew. Having his brew. So guys, we'll see you soon, hopefully. All right, tight lines wherever you are. Don't forget, we are fishing all, all seasons. seasons. Have a subscribe, guys. It's a, it's a good jolly. You see fishing as it's fishing. We're no bloody professionals. We're still here having a good time. All right, guys, in a bit. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Everybody, good afternoon. It's about half past one. As you can see, my friends, the swans, have come to see me. Just grooming themselves as usual. Probably cleaner than what me and Glenn are this last couple of days, because, uh, you know, it is no showers, no washes. Get a bath tonight, though, so that'd be good. On the fishing front, still that one that Glenn had yesterday. Um, the weather again today, just... The rain's kept off so far, but I think we're due a downpour in about half an hour. The wind's kept up though. Sometimes horrendous at times the wind's been. Uh, there's a couple of guys that has gone opposite us. They've been here for a couple of days. They've had nothing. So yeah, we've got a few hours left. We'll keep at it. Only takes a second, doesn't it, for that alarm to scream off. Um, still on the zigs. We've got two between us, we've got two rods on zigs, then you have a four rods all on bottom baits, but it's a zig one that's done done the business so far. So yeah, I think once the uh, the rain's come in about half an hour's time, that, that should be it rain wise for the rest of the day. And apparently the the, uh, the wind's gonna die down as well. So we'll keep at it. 
See how good I get on. It ain't finished yet. As you gather, know in Disney, like I said before, it's a lovely setup. They've got a lovely little uh, shower block if you need it. Toilet facilities are good as well. They've got a shop where you can get all your pellets from, your sweet corn, there's a clothing range as well, and some tackle if you need it. So yeah, as a as a complex, it's spot on, absolutely spot on. So anyway, that'll do for now, and we'll catch up with you later. Speak to you soon. Right guys, that's it, I'm on my way home. Um, luckily for me, I've just bumped into uh, Mr. Danny Fairbrass here. Great to see him, looking well. Are you, you know, you'll all agree about that. Danny, a few words for us mate about Northern Disney? Um, yeah, place is fishing really well, water temperature's going up steadily now, all the lakes are doing bites, um, there's plenty of people about, um, you know, and uh, fish are getting caught, so yeah, it's all good. Brilliant, thanks Danny, and uh, a little mention from my friend Glenn, Danny, was he? Yeah, so well done on your PB, sir, excellent work, um, you just want to keep building on that now. And uh, we've got a little motto, they're only getting bigger. So next time you come back, there'll be a bigger one. That's great. Danny, thanks for your time, mate. Good help to you. And I'll see you next time around at Nutton Disney. Cheers. See you Thank later. you very much. Ta Cheers, Dan. Bye-bye, mate. Bye. Right, everybody. Paul here again. Glenn's gone home earlier, but it's been a good, you know, good 48 hours. It's been hard graft with the weather. But you know what? What a pleasure it just was meeting Mr. Danny Fairbrass. What an absolute gentleman. As you all know, guys, Danny hasn't been very well this last couple of years, so, you know, it's good to see him fit and healthy and back fishing, back catching them monster cap that he always seems to catch. Really, really, really appreciate Danny sparing me a few minutes, because, you know, he's, he was fishing himself there. So, again, Danny, thank you very much. Norton Disney, guys, what a great complex. Clean, good food, good tackle shop, good bait. The lakes and the pegs are immaculate. So get yourselves down to uh, Nut and Disney and try it for yourselves. Once again, Danny Fairbrass, thank you very much. And guys, don't forget, subscribe to the channel and we'll see you soon back on the bank. Take care.